Well, well. I never thought I'd see you again. What's going on? Well, we'd better get the scythe. <laughs> You'll have to start work right away. But I don't like it any more than you do. But if someone doesn't do the job, well, you can imagine. Imagine what? You don't remember, do you? No. <laughs> yes, maybe. The rat said my grandfather was death. <laughs> but I don't believe it. It's not possible. This is his house. You rode in on his horse. So where is he? He's, uh, <laughs> gone away <laughs> to think things over or something. <laughs> and you've been sucked in. There's a hole in reality, and it thinks that you're the right shape. It's in the bone you've inherited. You can't inherit anything from death. It's just a myth. I remember when you got brought here. He kept that skin, you see. Your mum and dad thought you'd scream the place down. But you didn't. I remember. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Open it and see. What is it? It's a uh, My Little Binky set. But be careful of the scythe, Susan. It's a bit sharp. Come along, Susan. It's time to go. So soon? Yes, and... Look, I don't think we should bring Susan again. But she's my granddaughter. This isn't right for a child. She loves it. Ordinary children get xylophones for their birthdays. They don't just ask their granddad to take his shirt off. She can play Frère Jacques. I don't want her growing up with all this stuff in her head. I want her to forget. We want her to forget she ever saw you. We want her to have a chance to be normal. So you can fill her head with a lot of logic and other modern rubbish? Why should I do that? He was the only one who could argue with a master your dad. I want to go home. You are home? This isn't my home. What's the inscription on the big clock? Too late. Where are the beehives? In the orchard. How many places have we got? Seven. See? It's home to part of you. I want to go home. It did the voice. Now do the job. 